18. 19. 20. 21. 22. 23. 24. 25. 26. 27. 28. 29. 30. 31. 32. 33. 34. 35. 36. 37. 38. 39. 40. 41. 40. Oh, the game's starting. 43. Wait. All right. All right. So, so we have uh, this yellow ball thing versus a furry. Yeah. Um, I heard Pac-Man's pretty good in this game. Uh, he d he does some stuff. He's got that loopy thing. That loopy thing's annoying. It's pretty annoying. It just takes up a lot of space and it stays out for a very long time. And he can catch it and throw it again and then catch it again. Wow, Fox's Wait. jab kind of sucks. As it should. Hydrant oh. takes two backers. That's kind of dumb. Yeah. But CG also getting kind of lucky that her back air negated the uh, hydrant. Also, wait, does it break up here? Uh, the many mysteries of Pac-Man. Oh. oh my goodness, that was wow. brutal. Here we go for a shine and die. I never go for shine and die, but that's because I don't play Fox personally. Whose fault is that? So, do 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 do. This is such a interesting matchup, I'll say. <laughs> Just because I mean, yeah. a lot of it is Fox wanting to run in, Pac Man having the options to keep Fox out, and then also doing really well when Fox can't get in, which is, uh, you know. Ooh. Bell, Bell's kind of annoying because it keeps you stunned for so long. Oh, Bell there's so up smash. And the taunt. I don't know. I think Pac Man's like. Ugh. Pac-Man smash attacks are so strong and fast. I think that's like so super and fast, and they stay out forever. And their only flaw is that they're like kind of small, so you have to make sure you get them right, because then you can get punished, because they're you know I mean, last forever. They're kind of small compared to the animation, but I'm sorry. Like, did the key fall downwards after being reflected? That's just yeah. not fair. I looked away for a second. Uh, Theoretically, in this matchup, Fox has all the tools to get in. It's, it's just, just that annoying to do so. Yeah, <laughs> to do it properly. Instead, you can just like dash attack and fall down with there. Interesting thing that uh, Justin's doing right now. I'm sorry, Pack sucks. Da 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 da. Dev two is that he's using the hydrant to block lasers, so ZG can't cap him out with the uh, shooty things. The so she has to approach. Character. Oh, the shine finally worked. Ooh, going in with the taunt. But Justin now has Ooh. the key. Justin does not have the key. He in fact has a melon. Which you can't use to get into your house. Unlike with the house key, because you could use that to get in your house. Unless the door is unlocked, then you could get in with a melon, but... Oh, bell. Stop. Uh, the bell just disappeared. I don't understand Pac-Man's items at all. Because, like, they don't reflect like reflect correctly. They go yeah. different directions than they come. If it hits off of shield or gets reflected, then it, it just kind of makes up what happens. But stop. Stop. Ugh. Stop. 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 I don't think he's gonna stop. 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 All those deaths. We're all from trying to preemptively reflect something. But. I don't know. Honestly, like, Shine is pretty committal in this game, so it doesn't make sense to go for a read against a character that can kill you. <laughs> At a hundred, but Lila will definitely be better for Fox, I think, just because it's probably one of the best issues, I would think, because you just have a platform everywhere in order to extend up air combos. Which well, I think the bigger shot. situation here is that uh, Pac Man's items don't, aren't gonna work as well on this stage because of all the slants. This is a very smart chase. Stage choice. Stage choice. Stage choice. From ZG. Turtle speak. Uh, yeah. As well as, you basically just have two layers to it. So if Pac-Man wants to camp on the bottom layer, then you just hop over it on the second layer, and it makes it much safer to do so, and getting in much easier. On the other hand, it because of the platform layout, it does make it harder for Fox to approach in a lot of situations. The slant means that Pac-Man can just kind of stay there, where Hydrant like blocks your only approach option. And you're forced on a platform. So it, it's a bit of a double edged sword. That's gross. And I think about it. Aren't most swords double edged swords? Like. No. 
All right. Yeah, if you say so. Or I mean, first rule commentating, always say yes. Ah. You know what would be really funny? If Fox Laser broke shield. <laughs> Make a mod. Make a mod and then put in like a Doom headpiece. Yeah, that's smart. Uh, I'll put in like uh, the, the <laughs> demon. Wow. Anyways, I'm not going to talk about Shine and how it interacts with Hydrain because it makes me feel dirty. I don't like it. Missing that up smash. Going for the hard read. Uh, it's possible that Justin thought that he oh, only would... shot out once. But I was just about to say I haven't seen Justin actually use Hydrain pushing him unless he's being pushed away while charging neutral beat, which is lame. <laughs> Stop going to shine. Ooh. I'm not going to knock back Fire Hydrant. Playing footsies right now. But it's still kind of weird. Up kinda, here doesn't break it. I'm kind of surprised on how durable fire, fire Hydrant is. It does make him super annoying as a defensive tool. Especially sure against Fox. If it got buffed at all between 4 and Ultimate, but... Like, yeah. Sure if feels it, like it. I was going to say it feels like it, yeah. So, like... Who knew? That's all that pack needed. That and like just slightly better frame data in general. And slightly better literally everything. <laughs> yeah. His grab works now. That was like probably that. Like, the biggest thing. <laughs> grab and then a hydrant health. Everything else is just like, what if we just made it slightly better? And what do you know? Pac-Man's uh, pretty good. Uh -oh. Not gonna kill. <laughs> I hate I hate yeah. the item. Wait. Uh <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, it, it works. It works. It's an even game now. It. it was smart. Oh no. Oh no. Is it not? <laughs> I was worried. I was really worried the air dodge was going to kill her. I didn't see the air dodge, but yeah, that's a stop going for shine. Uh, uh, ZG's just kind of running away right now, which I can't blame her. Pac Man's scary. Yeah, it's really just these low percents. Like, when your combos aren't frame tight, it's kind of scary, but around now, I would hope to see ZG stays in a bit more because that's how you're going to win this matchup. Uh, but Pac-Man has key. Pac-Man no longer has key. But right now, whenever ZG backs off and lets Pac-Man set up Hydrant, it's not super good. She just kind of gets snared off stage, as she did. And... Having Bell, very scary. Uh, dropping Bell, not as scary. I mean, dropping Bell is still kind of scary. <laughs> You're like, not picking it back up. Uh, don't do it. Why, why uh, would she do it? Maybe yeah, she was afraid it was going to like <laughs> catch ledge, but... I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, it definitely wasn't going to from there, but... I don't know, if you're nervous, yeah, sure. Ooh! Yeah, yeah, never mind. Go for shine. Let's go shine. That's that's kind of spicy. Well, I guess you kind of lose an entire <laughs> mat match set. Uh, a game. That's what it is. You lose an entire game to using way too much shine, and then uh, you just kind of win because of it. For sure. Still so we're doing switches. it again. Ooh, we're again. going to Dark Fox. That's like Mountain Dew pitch black. Pretty sure that's like wolf colored fox. Shut up. But like shut up. It's like the best one. Stop. What? Wait, huh? what? I just said I just like the color. Do you do you not like that I like the color? I you know, it would have been awful, but at the same time it would have been funny if, you know, jab jab, push off the stage from Hydrant into fastball and air. But the good thing, CG did not fastball. But anyways, definitely a good stage for Pac-Man. Doesn't help Fox too much, especially because we haven't seen ZG go for a lot of upper strings. Or not that she hasn't gone for any, rather hasn't had the opportunity to. But you know, really good edge guarding here, just because ooh, Fox has just been kind of just barely outside of the range of Illusion snapping to ledge, which is a rough position to be in. Justin kind of just saw all the options there. He kind of covered Sakurai. everything. 
Ooh, there's those up airs you're talking about. Uh, the slight stall from throwing down Hydrant, keeping Pac-Man out of range of Fox's up air. Unfortunate. Oh. Okay, not gonna get the crazy Japanese Pac-Man clip today. Ooh. Just Hydrant just ruins everything. And that up smash. I still an even game. ZG definitely seems to uh, be very comfortable this stage, despite all of uh, Justin's yeah, advantages. She's staying uh, in Ooh. quite a bit more, except she's going from like 40 to 73, which isn't good. But she's been going for a lot of back airs on shield now, as opposed to trying to land with Nair or. Interesting. Or Dare. Uh, <laughs> and. Pretty sure Fox back air. I don't think there's anything that Pack can really do unless she lands right on top of him. Pack might be able to squeeze out an air, but even then. She's doing a very good job at trying to keep uh, Pack sucks dot 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 dev 2 away from Hydrant. Because if he's near Hydrant, he kind of has a ton of advantage, but without Hydrant, she can just kind of like approach or and she can I'm do that. I'm the switch to reacting with Shine instead of trying to fall down right in front of the Hydrant. Uh, CG is just waiting for Hydrant to break first because it's not like free, but at the same time, it's very reactable. Like right there, that's a bad shine read. There's definitely playing too cautiously, but good thing Fair didn't actually stun her. But right now, she can keep up with the space, that's really good. Because right now, she's playing like at her pace and she's not letting Justin set up, and as Batman is a sub character, it's a good thing. And random illusion shouldn't have worked, but it did, so I guess, you know, she's the box expert. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about so it. so dumb. Ooh. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, Alright, this is a dangerous position for Justin right now, being away from Hydrant. Uh, I think it disappeared, so maybe not. Disappeared and just being kept off stage in general. Like the up smash, just would have liked it a bit more if Justin it was hit. further away. And yeah, if it hit, you know, it's nice. But, yeah. Ooh. CG's kind of not using back air quite as much, except for right there. Except when it hits. <laughs> yeah. But no matter, Pac Man recovery, free. <laughs> Pac Man recovery is super hard to deal with, and I'm surprised that ZG's not going in because it's all the risk for Fox and no risk for Pac Man. Oh, yeah, for sure. When Fox has a very easily exploitable recovery and Pac Man has, like, several different ways to recover and can recover from so many different angles. It's, uh, yeah, pretty good. Ooh, and building up tech percent. Breed, really key, but still, like, any mildly strong move right now is gonna finish it, including back to the center stage. All right, good stuff for and CG. That's a set. I'm still upset about the first game, though. <laughs> Three shines.